It's time. From all of the excitement and amazing times that we've had together, to the quiet, the personal moments, to all of the stress about the virus going around and my layover in China, it's all been, uh, all been culminating to this day, which I have not been looking forward to. Saying goodbye, for now. Miss you. Oh, sorry, I just, as soon as I rounded the corner at security, like, and I was alone, that's when it hit me. I. Please. At the top of my mind, but I love you so much. And I, uh, Lord, I'm praying for Chris at this moment. First of all, we want to thank you, God, for everything that you've done for us, for ev for the opportunity for us to be together again. And now, please keep him safe on the flight. Um, and. And also, I'm praying for Chris, protection from any sickness, from yes. any virus or bacteria coming to his way. Protect him in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Amen. Well, that was just about the hardest flight experience I've ever had. Not because, like, the flight itself, but the the realization and the truly knowing and feeling that I'm alone and Susan's not next to me. It's also, yes, I donned the mask just in case, because there have been a few reported cases of the whole virus thing here in KL. You know, but yes, I'm in Kuala Lumpur for layover number one. This sucker is a long one. I'm gonna be here till like 2 a.m. Joy! And the fun don't stop because after waiting this whole time, I then have another layover in Dubai. Yeah, Dubai. It's gonna be an experience. <laughs> oh, bless up. Oh, bless up. Oh, bless up. You know what sucks though? I am seeing her everywhere. Like, even this restaurant that I'm eating dinner at, we had a date at this restaurant. Like, I just left the camera at home and we went out and... Even the chicken wing is her favorite food. This just isn't fair. <laughs> Bye. Here I come. Holy cow, this is the 
biggest freaking plane I've ever seen in my life. This is massive. It's massive. I need to keep track of the seat numbers so I don't walk past my seat. Well, I will say, I fit better in this seat than last time. I guess Air Asia is not built for taller folk. <laughs> and fun fact, I used to be all about the window seat. The window seat, the window seat, the window seat. Because it looks good in vlogs and it's just fun to see a view. But yeah, like, yeah. your boy pees yeah. too much for that. <laughs> Plus, on overnight flights, when all the lights are off and no one can judge you, it's very nice to stretch your legs out into the aisle. Don't judge me, okay? <laughs> There's also so many bathrooms on this plane. There's like five just in this this one little section. It's so cool. Now I understand why like every YouTuber ever loves Emirates. I should lock this door. Why is that going? Hi, I'm a mess. <laughs> okay, one last thing. I swear I'm like not being sponsored by Emirates or anything. It's just as somebody that's always flown, you know, Southwest. This is such a different experience. Like, this plane has cameras on it. It has multiple cameras on it. That one has no view. Cool, what about this one? That one's also black. Which, to be fair, it's also 1 a.m., almost 2 a.m. So that would explain why there's no light. Fair enough. But that's so cool. Okay, fine, one more freak out because she just handed me this menu for breakfast. For, I have a menu for breakfast. I don't just have to take what they give me. This is dope. <laughs> and I'm kind of feeling some uh, fresh seasonal fruit with the cheese omelet and uh, maybe a soft breakfast roll. Yeah. You know, Susan asked me something interesting uh, right before I left, and that was like, do you miss home? And obviously my answer is yes. I miss my home, and I miss the people in my, you know, normal life. But after a month of being with her, she was my normal life. Like, being with her was my home. And I haven't really ever had that happen before with a new, you know, place. Like, as somebody that has moved a lot in his life, the concept of having a home is very, like, I'm very well acquainted with it. And so it just feels weird that I guess I felt like I have two, you know, one in a home and one with Susan. Okay, this is getting like obscene levels of cheese, so I guess back to the flight. Also, I've realized I've literally flown across the world for this trip, because I started by going over the Pacific to China and then into Malaysia, and now I'm going from Malaysia to Dubai and then back home, literally around the world. I got some sleep on this flight, but dear goodness, not nearly enough. I am so tired right now. I am so tired. Holy cow. Hi, so good news, made it to Dubai. It's beautiful, I think. Bad news, I don't know, because I immediately fell asleep, uh, only to wake up to final boarding for my flight. Ah. Hey, Chris from the future here, that was a lie. I actually was just watching a movie and totally lost track of time and felt really embarrassed about that fact when I was recording this. Cabin crew, prepare all doors and cross-check. Prepare all doors and cross-check. Okay, now back to your vlog. So, sorry for the lack of vlog coverage. Here it is. Look, it's really pretty. I gotta go. Also, security pulled me aside because Susan had made me, like, brownies to eat on this trip and apparently bringing brownies through an airport to Los Angeles is seen as a little suspicious because... Morning! Let's get on this. Morning. Welcome Morning. Aboard. Honestly, it's, it's weird just to think that like after a month in Malaysia with Susan and that being my normal life, that I'm going back to my real normal life. 
it just, it, it doesn't, it's not clicking. So continuing my theme, really, of being continuously impressed today, they just handed me this. I have no idea what's in it. Ooh, sleep mask. How do I look? Incredible, right? Are these socks? No, like, are these actually... Oh my gosh, they gave me socks. So I can take my shoes off. Incredible. Honestly, incredible. I mean, this is the height of luxury right here. <laughs> I can die happy now. You look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments doesn't mean I don't need you I, 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 I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason So, 16 hours is a long time a long time. And as nice as all the amenities are here, it doesn't fix the complete and total boredom. Yay! Which honestly feels weird even to say because I'm like in a, you know, a metal tube flying 20,000 feet across the sky at like, you know, 500 miles an hour. Literally, we're over Russia right now. How cool is that? And how, how can I be bored with that thought? But now here I am. <laughs> There's really not much to do other than cozy up with a blanket and fall asleep listening to ear biscuits. Which I'm definitely doing. We fly around like paper planes, they never know where we will fall. Nobody can see us, still they wanna tear us apart. There's something different about the way we are. are, are. Ooh, 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 ooh. There's something different about us. I can tell you one thing for sure. I'm never gonna take just standing up for granted again. <laughs> oh, 
Я пуснула. Stranded, I know how to handle it all on my own. I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm alone. Leave me stranded, I know how to handle it all on my own. On my own. What an incredible experience. And I feel like experience isn't even strong enough to describe this. It literally life-changing. And I just want to like take the, the moment now to thank Joshua Ulrich for his very generous financial support, um, without which this would not have happened. I really want to thank Susan's family and her extended family for making me feel comfortable and invited and part of the family. I want to thank Susan for <laughs> putting up with me for a month, for all the stress and worry in, in the planning of this whole experience. And just, you know, ge generally being my girlfriend. <laughs> and finally, I truly want to thank you for your support in our relationship. Like it genuinely means so much to know that People are rooting for us, you know? That's so incredible. So neither of us want to take it for granted. Um, so thank you so much for everything that you have done for the two of us. Thank you for coming along and joining us on this experience. I, um, I'm so thankful. <sighs> and I'm also so incredibly tired. And yeah, I think that's really all that there is to say. No, there is one final thing. Stay positive.